I want to take you on a journey today to a very special place to me. It's a place where this beautiful clean water is important and used on a daily basis. Well, welcome to the Garden of the Goddesses. The reason it's called the Garden of the Goddesses is that all of these plants that you see are girls. Um, when growing a garden like this, what you're looking for is all females. So this is the same plant, but this one is only a week old. This plant is six weeks old. This is a Russian Ruderalis that's mixed with a Brazilian Sativa. You can see the sativa has really long, thin leaves. Um, the ruderalis allows the plant to be able to bloom in a set number of days instead of being a photosensitive plant, which blooms according to how much sun it's getting. Uh, this plant is an uh, indica cross. You can see rather shorter leaves, and she's already starting to get a few little hairs and blooms on the ends of the buds here. This is called pre-flower. So now I'm taking you to visit another one of the goddesses here in the garden. This is a sativa cross. Uh, you can see that she has rather long leaves, um, very robust growth. Uh, we're getting late in the month of July, so we have about another month of veg. I expect this plant to overtake the top of this cage here. Um, if you look over here, this is another one of the larger plants in the cages. Um, this plant is called a mammoth and this one has vigorous growth during the vegetative stage which is what we're seeing right now when just the leaves and stalks are growing and it'll also grow robustly during the blooming stage. So whenever the flowers start to set on this plant we'll still see the plant stretch maybe two or three feet. So if you have any kind of height restrictions, you definitely don't want to have this plant growing in your garden. You can see what I did is I pulled this plant out. Uh, it would normally look like the plant right here in front of you. It would be one stalk going up. I did a process which is called super cropping. And the super cropping allows your plant to be able to have multiple tops instead of just one. So instead of the one top you see on this super auto here, you can see we literally have maybe 150 bud sites on this plant, 150 tops. This is called a Casey Brains Super Auto. Within the next three to four weeks, this plant will be totally finished and ready to harvest. It'll be six to seven foot tall. We'll only be able to yield maybe one to three pounds off of this plant, where on this plant, I'm expecting three to five pounds for the yield. You can see this is a stem, just like the one that you see in front of you that I harvested about two weeks ago off of a plant. So each one of these stems is going to look like this whenever it finishes out with buds that run up all the way to the tip of them. Some of you are probably wondering why the garden is outdoors and not indoors where it could be more protected. Um, you can protect your garden more indoors, but there's no way to recreate this amazing environment with the sunshine, the soil, the natural water that we saw earlier that we're getting. The amount of airflow that comes through the garden and the CO2 is just ideal for the plants. The cost structure for growing these plants outdoors is about one-tenth of what it is to grow these things indoors. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to say thanks for your visit here to the Garden of the Goddesses. And I want everyone to realize and understand that you can recreate this yourself in your own garden.